Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Taisha, and on today's video, I finally decided to sit down and film a hair tutorial for anybody who's been wondering how I get my long, bouncy curls that we all love from my Instagram page. If you guys do not follow me on my Instagram, it's at Jazz and Taisha. I'll have it linked below in the description box. Make sure you guys do follow me. But anyways, today I decided to finally do a hair tutorial. I got in so many requests from so many people to share how I curl my hair and how I get it to look really voluminous and all curly. So basically, guys, Guys, in this video I'm gonna share with you guys how I go from looking like this with my hair up all ugly messy bun to having beautiful long bouncy curls perfect for those Instagram pictures or for any special event so if you guys are interested on this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and of course hit the little bell so you guys know every time I upload a new video but without further ado if you guys want to know how I curl my hair then make sure you guys keep on watching all right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is what my hair looks like with no extensions. And yes, I am wearing a shirt, by the way, if anybody's wondering. Um, but this is what my hair looks like with no extensions. And no, I do not have naturally straight hair or whatever this is. I have naturally curly hair. So step one, if you have naturally curly hair, straighten your hair. Let it be second or third day um, hair and then curl your hair. That's basically what I do. If you guys have curly hair, you know what I'm talking about But basically this is my hair length. No extensions. No nothing. I have my extensions right here So for extensions, I use the Bellamy Bugatti set in the shade dark brown It's whatever the darkest brown shade they have. That's my hair color um, This right here you guys is my natural hair color and then the rest is from past hair dyes I've been trying to let my hair grow, but basically I use the Bellamy Bugatti set Yes, it's extremely expensive, but I bought this a year ago and they still are amazing I still use them. I do not use them every single day. I only use it like when I want my curls or yeah that's pretty much it because i don't really wear them when my hair straight because i do have pretty long hair but basically i really do like these extensions it's been a year they work amazing they are a little bit more hard like they're not as soft when i got them but the clips are holding perfectly fine you get a bunch of hair for your money like a bunch of hair you get a hanger you get everything but i basically really do like these extensions and i'll continue to talk about them later in the video um, but what else? You guys are going to need, of course, a curling iron. This is from Amazon. It comes with different heads and it was really affordable, which is why I bought it because I don't really like spending a lot of money when it comes to hair stuff. Just a straightener. That's when I will spend a lot of money. But when it comes to curling hair and all that stuff, I don't really care. So this is from Amazon. I have it linked below. It's only like $20 and you get three heads. So the one I'm using today is the middle one, which I believe is like a one inch. So I definitely recommend everybody to try this one out. It's only $20. You get three sizes. It's amazing. It's from Amazon. So yeah. So I'm basically going to turn it on and let that heat up. Another thing you guys are going to need is a hairbrush. This one comes with the set. And then for heat protectant, I'm using the Tresemme heat protecting spray. Um, I just like the smell of it. I just put it on my ends. I never focus um, product in my roots because i do have oily skin oily everything i'm pretty oily you guys so i cannot put anything on my hair or like top of my roots because if not it'll be an oily mess and then when i do have an oily scalp and stuff like this or just for volume i do use dry shampoo and this has to be my favorite dry shampoo it's by batiste it's the wild one and it was only seven dollars i get it from marshall's because it's cheaper there i'm basically gonna go ahead and spray my hair first again like i said in the ends just like this and then of course i'm gonna brush my hair as you guys can see my hair is looking a little bit oily so i'm pretty much gonna add some to the roots you can do this before or after it's pretty much up to you and also i like adding dry shampoo to my hair because it gives me more volume and it makes my hair look more big and pretty and by the way if you guys see this right here last time i tried filming this video this is my third time filming this video for you guys um but last time i filmed this video i burned myself with this curling iron so be really careful so once we section our hair off i'm gonna go ahead and bring it to the front and i'm just gonna grab like a one inch piece and nothing too big and nothing too small and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my curling iron and put it behind my head pretty much because i like my curls to be away from my 
face and not towards my face. This is why I've burned myself trying to explain this part. So I'm going to be really careful this time around. So pretty much if you want your curls to be going in towards your face, um, you want to put your curling iron in front of your hair. But if you want your curls to go away from your face and just frame your face a little bit better, you want to put your curling iron behind your hair you can put your arm here whatever is easier for you but you want to make sure the actual curling iron goes behind your hair and not in front of your hair hopefully that makes sense i really hope so you guys so i'm gonna get my curling iron and put it behind my hair not in front of it so see here's my hair and here's the curling iron it's going away from my face and then I just wrap it around and this curling iron gets hot pretty fast. So I keep it for a couple of seconds, probably like six seconds. And then I let it go. And there I have a beautiful curl. And then I'm gonna do this one more time. Again, the curling iron's gonna go behind my hair and not in front of it. And that's how I curl my hair, you guys. And I pretty much do this step everywhere in my head. I do not like my curls to be towards my face because honest I don't know honestly it just doesn't look good for me sometimes what I do like to do is go in one time and go um, away from one time it's honestly really easy once you get the hang of it and if you're new to curling your hair definitely recommend a wand it's easier it's just easier and it's better and it's quicker see like I already have another curl so yeah you guys it's pretty much everything I do when it comes to my hair there's no big secret um, pretty much it's just the extensions and just curling it away from my face so I basically just repeat the same steps all over my hair and the reason why I section it is because I do have a lot of hair but like I said in the beginning of this video I do have naturally curly hair so for me to be able to do this hairstyle I have to strain it first and then curl it I also tried um, curling my hair with a straightener. I do like it, but I don't get the curls that I'm getting like right now But if you have curly hair, you know the struggle of curling your hair You have to straighten it a couple days before plan the day you're curling it and then curl your hair And also one thing I forgot to let you guys know is when I curl my hair I face it going downward and not upward um, I honestly don't know how some people can do that I don't recommend you do that. I feel like you're gonna burn yourself even though I still manage to burn myself. I recommend you facing it down. It's easier and quicker. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna be working our way to the top and I completely forgot to hairspray each and every single piece. I have to do this, you guys, because like I said, it's really hot where I live and my hair tends to fall like in the summer a lot quicker. So I'm gonna be using this Macadamia Professional Flex Hold Shaping Hairspray. This is what it looks like right here. I get everything from Marshalls, you guys. Like I said, I do not like spending a lot of money when it comes to hair. All right, so the top, I pretty much just section my hair, just like so. And this is the most important part because this is the part that everybody can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section it one more time. And you wanna make sure you hold the curl, uh, and you wanna make sure you hold the curls a little bit longer and a little bit tighter for your top areas. Like I said, this is the part that everybody can see. So instead of holding this for six seconds, I probably hold it for 12, just six seconds more pretty much. Or you can also just touch your hair and you'll know when it's ready to go. Like see, like right now, just like so. Okay, and then for the front, I pretty much just go like this with the curling iron to get any baby hairs out. And then I curled it away from my face, of course. So I'm pretty much just gonna finish up this other side off of camera to save you guys some time because it's pretty much the same thing. All right, you guys, so my hair is curled. I know it looks crazy, but that's okay. I'm just pretty much gonna throw it to the back to let it sit and relax while I apply my extensions. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I use the Bellamy Bugatti extensions. Yes, they're expensive, but for me, they're worth it. It's pretty much up to you. You don't necessarily need to get this set. They do have other sets. Um, I never try other hair extension companies. I only use Bellamy hair, so I'm not really sure how the other companies work. So what I basically do is section my hair one more time. These extensions are a little bit lighter sometimes, I feel like, but everything blends out at the end. So I'm going to be getting the three-piece weft first. I 
think that's what they call it and I'm just gonna make sure everything's completely brushed like I said in the beginning of this video I use this extensions when I curl my hair so pretty much all of them are already curled but I just go ahead and recurl them so let me go ahead and apply some heat protectant brush it in and then I go ahead and apply it to my head and the way I apply extensions the clips are not facing me they're facing away from me and then I pretty much just flip it around my head just like this and then I'm able to clip them in all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair one more time my extension that I just applied is right here so I pretty much leave a little bit of hair just to cover it and then I go in and clip my other extension and the reason why I apply the three first and not the four because the three doesn't cover my whole head and the four doesn't either but it covers more than the three it just looks better like that um, so that's what pretty much is starting to look like right now these extensions are long they're 22 inches I do not apply the whole package because honestly that's just too much hair I don't really need it um, because like I said I do have longer hair, but if you do have short hair, I'm telling you guys, the Bugatti set is pretty amazing. Okay, and right now I'm just gonna go ahead and clip my last piece of hair. So pretty much I just apply three extensions in my hair. But there you go, you guys, that's pretty much all I do. And then now, all I have to do is find the extensions and curl them and make them blend in completely to my hair because right now, I don't know if you guys can see like here are the extensions and here's my hair so I just have to blend it in so that's what I do I don't really section it for this part because I can just go in really quickly and just curl the extensions really fast and this is like the easiest part and you guys look at all the hair I have left like it's all sitting here there's so much hair left seeing you can pretty much already see the difference between curl extensions and not curl extensions so if you're ever in a rush and you want to look glam make sure your um, extensions are already curled ready to go pop them in curl them a little bit for a couple of seconds and you're pretty much good to go this is why I love wearing my hair like this for pictures I almost thought my curling iron was gonna fall in my leg that would be the worst thing ever and then I just pretty much flip my hair both sides try to get that volume and every time when I'm gonna take a picture I make sure to fluff my hair up so it looks really big and voluminous just like this you guys alright you guys so this is pretty much all I do when it comes to my hair to get it to look like this as you guys could see it's actually really simple and not hard at all I definitely recommend everybody to try this wand out it's inexpensive it's good it's good quality and stuff so basically you guys this is the finished look this is how I get my beautiful bouncy curls that we all love so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do more hair videos I can definitely do a hair care routine I can definitely do a how I straighten my hair or I can pretty much combine those two videos together let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you guys want to see a Q&A ask me the questions so I can answer them because if I don't have questions then I cannot do a video but all that being said I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you're watching this video and I shall see you guys on my next one bye guys